Hello, hello, beautiful human beings of the internet. Welcome to my nighttime routine. This is more of a relaxing routine where I have the night to myself and I like to cook on nights like this and I've become obsessed with this detox chicken soup. These are all the ingredients you need and it's so nice to just be able to throw everything into one pot. There's a few things that I think are unique about my recipe but you can obviously modify it for what you like. You're gonna just wanna get a big pot to throw everything into and you start by sauteing the fresh ingredients that need to be cooked down like the onion, the garlic, the mushroom, the celery, the carrots. Once you saute those in some olive oil, you're just gonna go ahead and add the chicken broth and what I do is I actually add bone broth as well so let's say I use eight cups of broth and for two of those cups I substitute bone broth because bone broth is amazing for collagen and digestive benefits and for your immune system I love this soup because I added the bone broth and also the kale and the apple cider vinegar and the lemon these are all incredible things for your digestive system those flat tummy hacks those immune system hacks all that stuff but you wouldn't even know because it just tastes like an amazing tasty chicken noodle soup as you can tell this is also a lot of soup so I like to do it when I know Cameron's coming over or when it's a Sunday night and I know that I can put it in the fridge for the rest of the week to eat for lunch or dinner. I recommend using rotisserie chicken because it's the best chicken for soup and it makes it even easier and I use dinosaur kale instead of baby kale or anything like that because it's my favorite and it's thick in the soup. I love adding lemon for the taste and the health benefits but you can go ahead and spice it however you want. I love using turmeric, pepper, ground ginger. I just totally put everything I love in it to make it super, super tasty. The full recipe will be up on my website and you can modify it to your liking, but it is an incredible detoxing, great digestive aiding soup. Once you bring everything in your soup to a boil, you can set it down to a simmer till you're ready to eat. And then I hop in the bath. I've been absolutely obsessed with baths right now, which I've never said it in my life before because I'm such a stress ball. And the fact that I can wind down now, makes me so happy. Depending on the night, it's either a nice glass of red wine or a nice cup of detox tea. It just depends on the type of day I had. Didn't someone say one glass of red wine is good for you? I don't know, I'm buying it though. So I bring that over to the bathtub and do like a bath bomb, some salts. I wanted to show you guys that it wasn't as ugly as it looked, I swear. I don't know why it was a gray bath. But I love getting in my bath, detoxing, getting my skin nice and moist and moisturized and just relaxing for a bit. Then after my bath, I do what you guys have been dying to know about, my dry brushing routine. This is my detox body oil. It's freaking amazing, I'm obsessed with it. And after I dry off, I rub it all over my legs and then I dry brush up towards my heart, every single part of my body. Yes, it hurts at the beginning, but I promise you, you get used to it. It becomes addicting, it feels so freaking good. You feel fresh, you feel tingly, and it truly reduces cellulite, tones your body, and detoxes your lymphatic system. Yes, I do this to every part of my body, and yes, you can do this after the shower with oil. You don't have to do it before the shower. I recommend starting in small strokes to get your skin used to it, especially if you have sensitive skin, but then you can get into bigger ones. I promise you, your body get used to it, and even though it's turning your skin red, it's because it's really bringing those blood cells to the top and it's helping the toxins get out there and move them from inside of your body. I highly recommend dry brushing for anyone who loves detox and toning as much as I do. I've hit that point in my adult life where I love pajama sets, not just sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Oh, this is the point where I thought that girls showed how they like played on the bed and stuff. And yeah, no one does that, you guys. So after I feel all fresh and clean and relaxed, I like to eat my dinner because I wanna feel perfect while eating my dinner. I don't want to have to be stressing about going in the bath or showering or dry brushing or whatever. The soup is incredible, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed. This is literally my happy place. This is like the best part of my day every single day. Obviously not every night looks like this, but when I'm home alone and I got time to kill, this is pretty much what it looks like. I have a guilty pleasure of reality TV, so this is the time where I get my fix because I love my alone time with my Bravo television and ABC. <laughs> the Bachelor is over, so I'm very upset. Leave a comment below what I should watch in the meantime for now I'll be doing Vanderpump Rules the best drama and Stella will be giving me her snuggles because she loves her mommy I 100% always eat on the couch and I'm struggling because the soup is hot and I'm spilling all over myself obviously a few hours will go by I'll watch a ton of TV relax on the couch with Stella then after that I head to my bedroom for when I'm really going to bed I got a Dyson humidifier for Christmas and it's honestly changed my life it's the best humidifier out there because it truly purifies the air and gives you the cleanest most 
humidified air ever and it makes such a difference with my skin and my sinuses. Humidifiers are like so essential. Honestly, just go on Amazon if you don't already have one, but it'll make such a difference if you have dry skin or any other problems like that. I love taking time to spray all my essential oils, roll them on my body. It just gets you in such a good mood and really gets into your bloodstream and relaxes you. I think it's super important to get some fluids in you before you go to bed and I like to put chlorophyll in my water because it's good for detoxing, digestive health, your immunity, and it actually is anti-insomniac, so it helps you relax and settles your nerves. Then I turn off my Himalayan salt lamp because I can't sleep with it on, even though it has crazy amazing benefits for your air, your stress, your body, your vibe. Love these things, highly recommend. Then I just take my medicine and do my roller balls, drink my water, play on my phone for a little bit. If Cameron's not sleeping over, I'll make sure I call him before I go to bed, and I make sure to make a list of anything that's on my mind so I don't stay up thinking about it. I just put it on my phone so I can stop thinking. I tend to work in my sleep a lot, which becomes very frustrating, so I try to get all of my work and all my thoughts out of my head before I go to bed. So that's my relaxing night in lately. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next by commenting below. Good night.